I'm Joe Wallace for GearWire.com. We are at the Focusrite booth with Rob Jones. We're talking about Liquid Mix 2. Hello, yes. This is Liquid Mix, uh, as it is and as it always has been. But uh, the latest release of the software uh, brings three sort of major new features. One of them is a much requested thing. Uh, we had loads of emails and loads of requests for it. It's uh, that the hardware now follows the software. So if you have multiple instances of the Liquid Mix in your session, you call up a different one on screen, that's the one that becomes active on the hardware. And it's a fairly major thing because people were, people were bringing up a new one on screen and then doing little tweaks, thinking, why can't I hear anything? What's, oh, and realizing they're actually editing one of the ones you couldn't see that's in the background. So that's a major thing. You can deactivate it because some people don't necessarily want it to follow that. But now, yeah, you can activate that. Uh, second thing is the sidechain. There's always been this uh, sidechain button right here, but now it actually does something. <laughs> you press it in on every instance and you get um, a sidechain EQ. And this basically acts like another band on the EQ. So in addition to the seven bands, you have a sidechain EQ band. And it appears on the graph. Uh, I don't know if you can see the screen up there. Can you want to take a shot of the screen? But, um, it, appears, it appears on the graph right here. At the moment, we have an instance um, set on a lead vocal track. Um, here, here are the EQ um, controls over here. And if I edit them, you can see them changing on the graph on the right hand side. So if we set it quite high and we set a nice peak up here, we can use this EQ band to feed the compressor and then DS the vocal. So that's another cool feature. Uh, and then lastly, we have the, uh, the latency. Um, we now have additional latency controls, so uh, we can now increase, uh, we can now reduce the latency by up to 70%, which is another major thing. A lot of people were requesting that kind of thing too. Uh, so you have lots of different basic, basically buffer size settings. So you can, you can have a much lower buffer size on some doors that need that kind of thing, and a much, uh, sorry, much higher buffer size, and a much lower latency as well. So um, those are the three main features. Now for some of our viewers who are new to Focusrite products, and Liquid Mix in particular, what can Liquid Mix do for a home studio user? Uh, well, no matter who you are, it can add all kinds of different um, vintage flavors to your mix. So um, it doesn't just provide you know, one or two sounds, it provides a whole host of uh, vintage um, compression and EQ. Um, it also means you can add all these different instances of, uh, of the software without really taxing your CPU, which is also a big deal. So you can get up to 32 um, instances of the liquid mix, and each one of them is a compressor and an EQ. So it's 32 compressors, 32 EQs, and all different sounds in there as well. So Now again, for an, a sort of an entry level user, uh, we talk about CPU taxation. How does this work without overtaxing the CPU? Well, basically all the audio processing is going on, on board in here. So um, all you're seeing on the screen there, I know it looks like um, a plugin and it does function like a plugin, but it's more important to think of that as really just a, a graphical user interface for what's going on in, on here, because every one of the instances, the audio is going up the firewire and then back into the, in, back into the door. So that's why initially we had slightly higher latency, but we've managed to reduce that down now. So um, We've been talking with Rob Jones from Focusrite about Liquid Mix 2. I'm Joe Wallace for GearWire.com.